Welcome to PC Wizkit tip number 18, enabling remote desktop. In Windows XP we had remote desktop, in Windows Vista we have remote desktop. But what if you want to connect from XP to Vista? We need to do some changes. So go ahead and click uh, system once you've typed it in in the search field. And that will open up the control panel system settings. On the left hand side under tasks, click on remote settings. From there, make sure that allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop is selected then press OK. Now you've enabled your Windows Vista so that way you can connect from XP and control and, and access your, your Vista PC remotely. Now what if you want to do it the other way around? Well in the search field type in remote desktop and hit enter and that will open up the remote desktop connection dialog window. Very familiar it's the same look and feel as an XP. It has the field that asks you to put in the name or the IP address of the computer. I usually put in the IP address and um, for those that are not familiar you put in the numeric number separated by by periods and once you've put that number in there then you will be able to adjust other connection uh, properties and behaviors for example if you have a slow connection on your network or a fast connection and you want to change the display the way it renders so that it's a little bit faster when you're sharing your desktop remotely you can go ahead and adjust these settings but most important, after you're done doing those changes to these settings, make sure that you save it so you don't have to go through the whole thing all over again. So make sure that you save it and it'll create a little shortcut, for example, on your desktop. It'll be a shortcut called um, whatever your name of the shortcut is, .rdp for remote desktop. And then you'll be able to connect to it at any time. So there you go. You've enabled it. And uh, now you can access your Windows Vista from XP, for example. Enjoy.